I didn't take a lot of notes throughout my entire college career. I actually have a coworker that is actually interviewing some people for Amazon, and he's been telling me that. This is Steven, an Amazon software engineer who just graduated the world's hardest CS school, Carnegie Mellon University, without taking notes. Steven shares how he prepares for a CS career in college, passed tech interviews, and got his job at Amazon. Go get a tour of an Amazon office and CMU as Steven shares actionable advice on how you can prepare for recruitment. I grew up with uh, immigrant parents. I didn't speak a lot of English. And I think like the path I took was a little strange because I spent a lot of time on YouTube, like those educational YouTube content, Vsauce, Veritasium, ASAP Science. And that kind of pushed me toward pursuing STEM fields. Me being into Minecraft was also from YouTube. Steven started at CMU actually as a mechanical engineering major. I really consider CS as an option because in my mind, it was always people that started in high school and they, they continued on to college. But I didn't have any CS experience before college. I just wanted to take CS class because, you know, it was what everyone was doing and I was just curious about it. I really enjoyed it. It did like scratch like the same part of my brain that Matt did. Um, and there was like a lucrative job opportunity field. Quickly realized that it's very competitive. CS is very competitive at CMU. My advisor was telling me like just straight up like it's going to be very hard. CS is hard. This is exactly how Steven studied for it. I didn't take a lot of notes throughout my entire college career. The rate at which the professor talks doesn't necessarily match the rate at which you listen or process. For me, I never found lecture super useful, but there's always like lecture notes online. Steven suggests to stay present during lecture, whether it's asking questions or summarizing thoughts in your head, rather than trying to multitask and take notes at the same time. So we're at the CMU University Center. This is the poolside, like dining slash studying area. I used to study here a lot. Your dorm experience may vary. You might live in a new apartment with fancy couches and touchscreen tables, or you might live in Stevens dorm. I used to live on the, the basement and it's like right behind those bushes and I just be looking at dirt. We have this sculpture thing, like a giant stick on the ground with like people walking off it. There was like two statues, like a, like a dad and a kid. The dad, his name is called Daddy Thick, because he's really thick. And he was missing one day. He was like, just all of a sudden, just gone. And everyone was like, where do you go? And the kid's abandoned. Let's see what's on the CMU bulletin board. A postdoc rally request, a hackathon, and the menu of Chang'an Lo restaurant. Okay, okay. Oh, and this guy. I think one of my favorite memories, uh, we have this library called Sorel's Library. Uh, it used to be open 24 hours, but then we'd all be like in Sorel's until like 3 a.m. It was stressful because it was like the night before or something. But it was also like really calming and like reassuring knowing that like you're like surrounded. Literally like like met like, so many like random people because we're all like struggling with CS. Steven, what are you doing with your code? Don't look, don't look. Don't zoom in. It's a triple for loop. This can't be right. Trauma bond over C and PAs. Got it. But turns out getting a job isn't really all about the classes. What you do in tech, that only requires one year of CS classes. Once you have like that one year of class experience, focus on building projects and building up your resume, like picking up like relevant job skills. L worry less about school at that point. Now, Steven shares an inside look on the recruitment process for Amazon and how you can prepare for it. I am a software engineer at Amazon. My team and I, we build a internal HR websites for Amazon HR agents to use. 
I was like very hesitant to apply for like internships for big tech companies because it felt like very intimidating. Fear and doubt. It's a universal experience, but Stephen decided to try anyway. Now, he shares the recruitment process for a software engineer at Amazon. The interview process, it was it was very standard. Like there was a online coding assessment, a live coding assessment with an Amazon engineer and then a behavioral interview. So like about three total interviews, but the interview process, it, it can be a little like unpersonal. Um, they have to like standardize it in some way. Maybe you can't like go too deep into like your actual roles and responsibilities at, at Amazon because at that time it's not even sh um, known like what team you'll be placed in. So what's the most challenging part? The most challenging, the stress of it all. I think everyone wants internship from a big tech company and it does like hurt when they reject you. The coding interview is, I think is actually a really big part of it. I actually have a coworker that is actually interviewing some people for Amazon and he's been telling me that out of all the people he's interviewed, like the technical skills like a big like limiting factor in like how far people get. Do you have any resources for learning how to lead code? Um leadcode.com. <laughs> the best way to do lead code is just to it's just a duly code. Build your fundamentals on data structures and algorithms. At a certain point, it's just like pattern recognition. Like similar problems will come up. Do you feel nervous when it comes to applying to big tech companies? Well, turns out you're not alone. Steven had to build a pretty strong mental game throughout this entire process. You never know until you try. Well, I mean, I hear people getting offers from big tech. I had a friend that got Amazon uh, uh, internship offer. Yeah, he made it like sound very casual. He just applied to Amazon and yeah, they gave me an interview. It was like so casual. I was like, that was not how I was thinking. But like, maybe that is how I should be thinking. Just it's not that deep. So what if we don't want to apply to big tech companies? Is it the only way to go? The big tech is is not the only way to go. Like there's there's startups. There's value in being at a startup. Your contributions hold like greater weight. Your work can be like more meaningful. When you're at a big tech, you're like just a small fish in a big pond, right? Uh, oftentimes I feel like my work doesn't mean anything. I lose motivation a lot. The only thing good about big tech is stability, community, networking opportunities. That's also true at a startup. It matters like what you value more. You can't find an internship for the summer. There's nothing wrong with that. I That was my situation freshman year summer. Ended up teaching myself about web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I think just like learning things on your own, you know, that can be just as valuable as doing an internship. Use five words to describe working at a startup. My five words are, you do all the work. My startup was like, literally had just started up. All the engineers were interns. A bunch of like confused interns. Now use five words to describe working at a big tech company. No one does the work. <laughs> <laughs> That's low key true. No one does the work. Some work, work life balance. You don't need to elaborate on that. Okay, okay. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't need to elaborate. How's the work culture at Amazon? Is it really that cutthroat? Compare this team to like other Amazon teams like AWS or Alexa, it's definitely more chill. There's this thing called on-call where every week, if there's any issue with your services, you will get paged and you have to address that problem like right away. Teams like AWS, they get a lot of pages. They can even like come overnight when you're sleeping. I think communication is very important like with your manager and to your teammates communicating like your workload and your stress level. This is also team dependent. I know people that are like very burnt out and overworked at their job, but they cannot take vacation time because you know, they have like deadlines in the future. There's pressure from like higher leadership. All right, Steven, what is your day in the life as a Seattle Amazon software engineer? I do get busy. There's like some weeks where I have work at night. Also other days where I barely do any work. I actually start my day at 11 and clock out at like 4. Yeah, in Seattle, there's like tech pro template. Of, it's like rock climbing. If it's summer, you go hiking. If it's winter, you go snowboarding. And also like running too. I picked up running. Speaking of trying new things, 
Are you ready to try jujitsu? I'm ready. Actually, Just avoid the ear. Avoid the ear. Don't go after my ear. Do a spin. We couldn't film in there, but there's the man, and there's me. What was your favorite part? Um, it's just pushing you off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and with that, this is Steven. Which part of his story did you resonate with? Let me know what video you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.